Everyone knows how important it is to keep chicken and pork cold. It's one of the things that actually scares us in commercial kitchens. So if you're on the road, it's fantastic having one of these because it means you can still get your chicken and pork straight from the fridge and onto the big board. Now for this little braise, you've got a few different options. One, you can have your Oz pig or your big boar roaring hot and you can render some of the fat out if you want to. Or you can start with the cold and just go with the normal braise. I like to go cold because I like that gelatinous fat that you get on the outside of the chicken and the pork. So chicken, I've got all of the bony bits, so all the dark meat. Legs, wings and thighs with the bone in because I want heaps of flavour in there. And then I've got some pork spare ribs which will pop in as well. I'm going to cook for about an hour and a half so all of that skin is going to slowly melt and become really really nice in the mouth. And this is the simplest recipe we're going to do. Pop in with that one grated onion, about a tablespoon of chilli flakes, about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, some coriander about a tablespoon, a little pinch of salt, then about two cups 500 mils of coke. Now, for this recipe, it's really important to grate your onion. What you want to do is bring all the juice out of the onion and make sure it's really, really small, the pieces, so that it melts into the braise as you cook it. Otherwise, you end up with, because you're not caramelizing and frying it, you end up with quite raw pieces of onion. And then this little lemongrass stalk becomes your stirring implement to get some of that lemon flavor in there as well. And we'll pop the lid on just to get some heat into the big bore. And then we're going to take that off and reduce the sauce down. So the fuser off first, then the big bore on. And that's just so we can get some heat into that oven, get the temperature up, get it simmering away. And then we'll put the diffuser back on because we want a nice gentle heat to reduce that sauce down. Once you've got some heat into the big bore, we can take it off, put your diffuser on, and that'll just slow the heat down a little bit and you'll get a nice simmer. Our first little stir, we'll take the lid off, give that a stir with your stirring stick, and lid back on. And I'd stir it every 20 minutes or so, which is probably about once every beer. We've given that about an hour and a half. Now I have been taking the lid off periodically just to let some of the steam out and let the sauce reduce down. And you'll end up with this, which is a really sticky sauce around the outside, so that beautiful glaze. Now when you've got something that looks and smells that good, it really is about getting it onto a plate as quickly as you possibly can. So, just, oh, just tip it on. Sip it off to the side to keep warm. Last few little bits in there. Now, you could serve it with some rice, but I'll just pull everything off the bone and eat it. And a beer or maybe a cider, something a little acidic to help cut through the richness. And there we have it, a cola braised wings and ribs.